What's up, everybody? It's Mommy Wata, and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. If you are new to my channel, I just ask that you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and please tap that bell so you will know when I post, okay? We're going to hop right into the message. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Holy Spirit, I come to you on behalf of my collective at this time. We are appreciative of all of the messages you have provided us with thus far. But what is the message at this time, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like for us to know? Please and thank you. Ooh, I haven't used these in a while. <clears throat> Let's do one more shuffle. What is the message, Holy Spirit? I really feel like somebody's been doing spell work. For a few days now, I've been waking up a little around after 2 o'clock, but I go to sleep early as well. So I still get in my, at least about, I say anywhere from 6 to 7 hours I will get average before I wake up at 2 something in the morning. But I've been waking up at this time because people have been doing spell work. Hell, they might have been doing some spell work on me. Who knows and who cares? But if you've been waking up like that, what I have learned is you need to first thank God for watching and keeping over you while you rest. Okay? Also, just ask God to continue to protect you from whatever was trying to infiltrate while you were sleeping. And keep it moving. <clears throat> Let's see. Holy Spirit, what do you want us to know at this time? Messages. Because if you operate in that method, if you utilize God in that way, they won't have a victory. The six of wands that flew out here in reverse. Okay? The devil will not win. No matter how hard the devil comes charging at you, you will be able to continue to transmute that energy that is sent at you while you're sleeping, while you're awake, whenever it occurs, and you will have justice. The scales will be balanced. Okay? I don't know who this is. <clears throat> right here but they're hell bent they could be a cancer they could be a capricorn it could be both but they're hell bent on causing issues for this queen of pentacles here I, I'm, we have the king of swords now what else this six of swords this king of swords represents how hard they're going but this King of Swords also represents some type of avenging angel who is going to continue to, to make sure that this Queen of Pentacles is protected. That she's continued, that she continues to be able to move on away from whatever somebody is trying to do. Okay, somebody try, been trying to sink her ship for a long ass time. I'm really picking it up for a long ass time. Someone has had this desire to cause issues in her life, create illusions, mess with her money, mess with her, her, her stability, her place of residence. Tell lies about her. Whoever this is, they have been trying to cause destruction for this Queen of Pentacles for a long time. But this King of Swords, Justice Energy, it could be a Libra. Okay, but I feel like it's more of a spiritual protector. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Who's, who's had this woman back? The High Priestess then flew out here. A spiritual protector with the moon. Someone who... This Queen of Pentacles is not aware of, 
or maybe this king of swords justice energy is aware of this high priestess with the moon there is a cancer sign involved in this constant attack spiritual attack on this woman we have the ten of wands i don't know if y'all see how that flew out right here okay but what i'm seeing here is that because see how the high priestess fell right on top of the devil with the chariot the high priestess in the moon fell directly on top of the devil with the chariot so what this is saying to me is that there is a high priestess who is secretly and continuously attacking the queen of pentacles this moon and this chariot in a jane come out here as no coincidence okay but i feel like because of the protection of this king of swords justice energy this high moon high priestess energy devil chariot energy is now in the ten of wands okay clarify this ten of wands holy spirit please and thank you <clears throat> We have the two of pentacles. Y'all see how that fell out and you see where it fell out at. Okay. So what's happening to this devil high priestess moon chariot energy that keep coming at this queen of pentacles is that energy that she's been sending towards her. It's now causing a wayward emotional effect within this high priestess energy. Okay. This person is really suffering mentally i'm hearing everything that they were sending at this queen of pentacles she has been able to alchemize and transmute that into something abundant for herself okay coupled with the protection of this king of swords justice energy this spiritual protector this archangel even is really given some type of avenging angel a libra uh, possibly i don't know why i'm hearing libra still this could be someone who has passed over who watches and keeps over this queen of pentacles okay that this high priestess moon energy is not aware of so she's constantly spiritually attacking this person and this avenging angel is aware of it in the spiritual realm they've gotten clearance it's, it's literally like they're going to be there watching over this queen of pentacles for watching out for people like this moon high priestess ready to take them down and make they ass move on to calmer waters okay because right now this woman her mind ain't right we have the ten of pentacles the five of cups and the page of wands Hmm. This <clears throat> this Queen of Pentacles is about to receive some good news from the universe that's going to have this high moon high priestess energy in deep regret, okay? And that I believe that's why she's constantly working on this woman spiritually because she doesn't want her to receive this good news this good news is going to involve this queen of pentacles receiving a ten of pentacles partnership okay she's going to get justice this woman ain't been attacking this queen of pentacles for no reason and it looks like it's been in an attempt to stop her from receiving a divine partnership a partnership that's going to last the test of time. Okay. Why has this high priestess moon energy been attacking this queen of pentacles, Holy Spirit? We have the five of swords because she's jealous and envious. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the star. She doesn't like. She don't like how this Queen of Pentacles shine. She don't like that this Queen of Pentacles gives people truth and clarity, faith and hope, okay? I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is only coming out. She could have Earth in her chart, but I feel like she's coming out as a Queen of Pentacles because she's been chosen. She's been chosen as the one who will receive 
the kingdom spouse, the generational wealth, the, the divine counterpart, the husband, okay? She don't know it yet, I'm hearing. 10-10 ten, ten on the phone, nine of wands. This woman doesn't, she don't know that this is coming to her. But this high priestess does, y'all. That's why she's been going so hard at this Queen of Pentacles to break her. But she hasn't had a success. Six of Wands in reverse was the first card out. But she knows what's coming to this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles don't know it, though, but she is a warrior. That's why I said I'm getting all kind of energy, earth, fire, and air thus far from this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? She's still hanging in there, though. She ain't giving up. She she can feel the spiritual attacks. She's taking some hits, even. But she's still standing. And pretty soon, it's going to be over for good. Because this high priestess is, is going to be too mentally unstable that she ain't going to be in a position to try to spiritually attack nobody. 11-11 on the clock. Okay? We have the world here. This Queen of Pentacles life is about to transform, and this High Priestess's life is about to transform as well, okay? Somebody finna be in the Four of Pentacles and in the Nine of Swords, and somebody finna be in the Sun and in the Two of Cups. Now, you can make your determination of who energy you think belong to who, but if it, if it is based on what I'm hearing, and what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling, it looks like this high priestess is going to be in misfortune and loss and out of her mind with this nine of swords. Filled with anxiety, worry, sadness, despair, disillusion. Meanwhile, this queen of pentacles who has been struggling with this nine of wands, but she press she persevering a little bit better than a nine of swords. Okay, she ain't losing her mind. Twelve twenty one, she pushing through the tough times, and she she gonna get it right. She's about to have a new start. She's about to be happy, and she's most definitely about to get some type of divine partnership, a solid commitment. Okay, who is this solid? partner this kingdom spouse that i'm picking up on holy spirit please and thank you page of pentacles someone i feel like who had to go through some things and learn some lessons they took action in the present to ensure that their future would be a certain way but we all know that the page of pentacles can mean that you're not going to have that future outcome that you expected if you haven't made the right decisions in your present. And I feel like this person has, has learned some things. The Page of Pentacles is a student. Okay? I feel like their teacher was this moon high priestess. Look at that pentagram. That's what I'm seeing. That star energy. I feel like he learned how, who he thought he was going to have a future with, really has invested their future in doing magic. Okay? He, he wasn't ready. Look at that look, that look of surprise and bewilderment on his face. He wasn't ready. He, that, wasn't a few, that wasn't an outcome he was expecting, okay? This page of Pentacles here. He had to persevere through a lot of shit with this moon high priestess here, okay? With this strength card here. This man had this man went through a lot with this woman. And I feel like when he was going through what he was going through at times, he longed to be able to hold and comfort receive comfort from this Queen of Pentacles. From this woman who's about to receive a partnership from him. Look at them on this card. That's him. Look at how he like, man, I feel like he dreamed at times of the moment when he could wrap his arms around this queen of pentacles again, because he was suffering. He was going through a lot, but he was trying to tame 
that lion within that lion within him. This man may have Leo in his chart. We have the King of Wands, but I'm looking at the Sun and the Strength energy. I don't know. The Sun energy is also this Queen of Pentacles, but I feel like they both share Leo somewhere prominent in their birth chart. They both have it somewhere prominent in their birth chart. But this most definitely is a Divine Feminine. Okay? And he's free now to pursue her. And she's free as well. This woman is single. This queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles. He want, he want her to be his queen of pentacles, but she's currently single. She's in the nine of wands, nine of pentacles energy. She's in this vibe of no matter what is being thrown at her, at her she's going to persevere and push through it. Okay? This is her vibe. She's not going to back away from a challenge and what she has been facing from this devil cherry energy that's been a challenge okay but this devil cherry high priestess moon energy need to go sit the fuck down somewhere because they about half crazy we got the seven of pentacles and what they have done all of this effort that they put into Messing and bothering with this woman, this divine feminine, it has just evolved her. It's just made her stronger, wiser, better, so much better, okay? That's what I'm hearing. This woman is, she has truly experienced some type of transformation. All of this spiritual warfare she's been battling. This woman been fucking with this, see? Seven of Swords on the bottom. With the hangman. With the Queen of Swords. This high priestess been fucking with this woman. But she pushed through. 1717. She remained gracious while she did it. With this Queen of Swords energy here. I tell you, I'm picking up earth, fire, and air off of this Divine Feminine for show. I'm not picking up no water off of her prominently. I'm picking up those other three signs prominently off this woman, this Queen of Swords here. She coming out as a Queen of Swords now because this woman has stood her guard, standing in her, she stood, she standing in her power. I don't even think I'm saying that right, but who gives a hell? Damn it, I don't care right now. I'm trying to get a point out, a message to somebody about how resilient you are. How you stay gracious when you are in front of adversity. When you are facing adversity, God see you. And you are about to be rewarded because you have been fighting a spiritual battle. This woman been fighting a spiritual battle, y'all. Whoever this high priestess is, she been trying to catch this woman up with the seven of swords and the hangman. Now, she could have water in her chart. Clarify. Because I feel like we talking to a, talking about a goddess here. Knight of Cups. She might do got water in her chart. She might encompass all four elements. And this woman has used all four elements. I feel. That's what I'm getting here. This woman has used all four elements to transmute this warfare that was being sent towards her by this other person. This other energy here. Okay, you know, it's really giving like avatar, honey. I'm, I, I'm just picturing this woman. Alchemizing that energy. Some type of spherical type shit. I don't know what I'm getting here. That's why this high priestess is fucked up in the head right now, y'all. I'm telling you. All that shit done been sent back. She can't take it. She can't take what she put out. Knight of Pentacles. This her right here. This her right here. Remember that page of Pentacles? That King of Wands energy? How he was looking at that Pentacle like, dang, I didn't know she was in here doing all of that. Nah. There she go right there. She had a plan. And she was using that magic. Probably be doing some type of magic with a star. 
because she is something about this woman's star energy. It's something about how this woman shows up in the world to people that this high priestess also did not appreciate and did not want to continue. So she wasn't just jealous of her connection with this masculine. She was jealous of how she showed up in the world to others. You know, it's crazy. But I just do not feel like this King of Swords here is definitely given past over loved one of some kind, avenging angel of some kind, a Libra for show, who is just not playing the radio about this divine feminine. He ain't this empress. Mm-mm. Okay. You know, this high priestess is going to be unable to take this one down. You know, she got she got some hurdles to jump for show if she if she thinks she's gonna keep coming for this one. And also, again, her mental state. Her mental state is what I'm picking up on. And I don't think she's going to even be able to mentally do no spell work. She's going to have to get that up for good. I'm getting that. Eight of Cups. I do feel like this King of Wands is going to connect with this Empress. Their energy is interesting. Because what I'm getting from her is a whole another level of divinity that he has not elevated to. But I feel like he has potential with this King of Wands here. I feel like that speaks to his own resilience. It speaks to how he wants to show up to the world now that he's learned and gained knowledge and strength from what he experienced with this high priestess. I feel like he's trying to elevate to where she at okay this is what the six of cups is about as well he wants to reconnect with this divine feminine because he sees where i you know it's like i ain't gonna say master teacher but he just he really feels like he can learn a lot from this woman he really feels like this woman can help him become the man the being that he was de designed to be. Clarify, Holy Spirit. We have the Eight of Pentacles here with the lovers. What did I just say? He feels like she's some type of teacher. He can, he can perfect his craft. He can learn and perfect his own craftsmanship, his own abilities, his own qualities from this ideal love choice here okay he ain't on her level yet but baby he he willing to work and learn and observe with this page of swords so that he can we have the three of cups behind that this man knows that he will have a success in love and life if he chooses this woman. And again, this this divine feminine don't know that this man want to be with her. I really feel like she's been too busy trying to maintain and continue to evolve despite the spiritual warfare she's been battling. She ain't thinking that this king of wands is going to pursue her. She, I'm telling you, she don't know. She had no idea this high priestess do because she she tap in, she spiritually spies, she does other things to find out what's going on in addition to using magic to attack people, okay? So she knew what this King of Wands wanted to do, what his new outlook on the future is, and that was why she made a plan to stop this woman, to hurt this woman, but she has not been successful. And she is going to have to give it up for good. Okay. Is this divine feminine going to accept this king of wands offer? Holy Spirit. We have the hermit. 
We have the Four of Swords behind that. I feel like this woman is going to take some time to decide if she's going to deal with this King of Wands just because of who he was connected to. Okay? She's going to have to take some time to recover even from the spiritual warfare. I don't feel like this woman is going to immediately hop into a connection with this King of Wands. And that's sound about right for a Divine Feminine because she's going to assess the situation. She's going to assess herself. She may not even need or want a connection with this man. Okay? That's what I'm getting to. Like, she, she may not even desire him in that way anymore. Because if she is some kind of goddess who can transmute energy that's being sent at her to improve her life and help her maintain, okay, I'm pretty sure she has intuitive abilities as well. Hell, it's, it's enough indication out here that she does. A queen of swords is intuitive. She can be very insightful, okay, among other, other energies that she came out here as. Coupled with this hermit and this four of swords, this woman know that this high priestess was attacking her because of this king of wands. She may not know specifically who, okay, but she knows that there, somebody was coming at her most likely because of her connection to this man. And so it's going to take her some time to decide if she even want to deal with him. We have the Eight of Wands. And I feel like she's going to communicate to him that she's going to continue to move forward with her life. That she's not trying to go backwards. Okay? Look, Seven of Wands on the bottom. Three of Wands behind that. Because this woman knows that part of this spiritual battle that she's been fighting is because part, probably not part, all shit. Okay, she knows that the primary reason she's been fight, having to face spiritual warfare is because of this man and whoever he was connected to. And she don't want to take that risk again. She has her defenses up to him. She's had to fight off crazies because of him. Like what? Who, who want to go backwards to that type of energy and low vibrational behavior? Because obviously, like I said, that's why I said he not coming out here really as her match. If y'all notice, in no way, she out here in multiple forms. And he only then came out here as the king of wands because his ass had to battle through what he was dealing with with this high priestess. But now he's in a position where he wants to learn and gain more wisdom and knowledge. Okay? But she's just not ready to be, put herself in a position to teach him anything. We have the Ten of Cups. This woman want her future to be bright. She don't want her future to be filled with drama from his community, people that he's associated with that have tried to attack her spiritually. With this Eight of Swords, this is spiritual warfare, some type of spiritual trap, imprisonment, some type of toxic loop that this woman was trying to keep this divine feminine in in hopes that she wouldn't be able to have this partnership with this man but y'all i'm really getting she just you know after you've gone through so much behind somebody just because you want to love them and do right by them you you get to a point where you decide to give that love, okay, and that do right to somebody else, mainly yourself, okay, because you shouldn't have to go under spiritual attack, be facing spiritual battles just because you love somebody and you want to do right by them. And that's the only thing I, that's the only thing that I'm picking up existed between this divine feminine and this king of wands. Okay, nine of cups. Nine of cups with the ace of pentacles, with the king of pentacles. Look, that's all this woman wanted with that man. 
That's why she coming out, came out as a queen of pentacles out the gate. Because, see, that's what he want now. But I'm telling you, that's all this woman wanted with this man. She just wanted to love him and do right by him. And she didn't have to become a whole alchemist, a whole warrior, to fight off some karmic energy that he done hooked up with that didn't want him to have what God had planned for him. God wanted him to have this Nine of Cups, this Ace of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles energy. That's who was supposed to bring it into him, his Divine Feminine. Okay, but he, he learned some hard lessons now, I'm trying to tell you. Now he want her to teach him, show him. You know, but she ain't got nothing for you, young Padawan. You're going to have to take that spiritual journey on your own, I'm hearing. Because this woman having to recover and possibly heal some of the trauma she may have even experienced during this spiritual battle she fought with this high priestess. Okay, and she probably still fighting this woman spiritually and not, you know, fully. It, it's just wild because these people ain't even together. The, this, this King of Wands does not have any current continuous ongoing contact with this Divine Feminine. That's why he's having to reconnect. Clarify, Holy Spirit. So the fact that she even having to, had to face all of that, five of pentacles then flew out here. This man ain't been fooling with this divine feminine. He was over there in that low vibrational energy with that other woman. Okay? That's why he trying to get over there to this divine goddess energy now. But that's just even more icing on the cake. Even more reason as to why this woman is just not going to pick up this man as some type of student and help him get on the right path. That's some, that's a journey that he's going to have to take on his own with the fool on the bottom. Cause she ain't accepting no offers that he's given with this four cups because of the action that was taken to cause destruction in her life. Okay. He going to have to set out on this new journey, this new beginning, this new start on his own. With this Ace of Wands, 32-32. And I'm going to drop the mic here, okay? I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.